All right, welcome back to Cody's Garage. It's been a minute since I put a video out because I've been busy, but, but you know, between my normal job and and everything else, you know, it's just, it's it's been a lot. So uh, today we're uh, we're gonna be putting a, um, a sway bar and end links in a, uh, what, what year is this? 2004, I think? 2004 Chevrolet Venture. So, uh, and I'll show you why we need to put it in here in one second. So let's get into it. So a friend contacted me and said that uh, he took his uh, he took his car down to a shop here uh, locally, and they quoted him thirty five hundred dollars to put in a wheel bearing, which I did yesterday. It's back in there if you can't see it, but I did that yesterday. It was fighting rain, so I didn't get a chance to to uh, uh, video that. But the sway bar here, the end links are broke, and you know you might be thinking, well, why don't you just put in end links? Well, let me go around here. And uh, this sway bar here, if I sit down, I can get a glimpse of it. It's actually broke all the way through. So, how you know, uh, that would have been nice if I could just put uh, end links in. But, you know, we have the whole sway bar and the sway bar kit. The the bolts actually came out. There's one up in over here somewhere um, that I was able to get out. I had to use a, a wrench and only 15 millimeter wrench I had was a regular box end. It wasn't a ratcheting, so it took like 10, 15 minutes to get that bolt out because of how long that bolt is. But um, I'll show you when uh, when I get the back bolt out and these end links out then. Yeah, see, that that's why we're replacing the whole sway bar because that, that piece is supposed to go like that on the sway bar. But that whole sway bar just, just opens right up. So... I got the I got the bottom out. I I got to work on the top now, on this on this link here. But I got all the bolts and stuff out. So once I get these links out, this should literally just pull right out. Should be able to push the new one in and go from there. All right. So there's the differences. The one in back here. Oh yeah, my hands out here. You can't see it. But uh, this one here is the new one. That one's the old one. You can see there where it broke off on both ends stuff comes with all new hardware new uh sway bar end links and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and put this in so the easiest way i found to put that in since this is a unibody car right through that hole back in there you literally put one end through it slide it all the way through all the way over to if i can get it all the way over to the other end there and then you bring it back bring it back here line it up you know bring it past and then you got to bring it back again and then it'll it'll line up take some finagling but it'll it'll go and then uh all the collars do like the old collars there the rubber just sits in there like that one there and that collar just sits over top here right in here right where that hole is right there and then there's one back here i gotta move it over one right there just sit it just straddles that and bolts in and then all you got to do oh, zoom back out all you got to do in here just put your just put your link in and you'll be good to go bolts are started all i'm going to do is it's easier to take a ratchet to this side and a wrench to that side so all i'm going to do is tighten that down and on both sides and um then i will come back and uh, do the, uh, the end links here and I'll show you as much as I can on the end links. I've got the bolt and I just put the washer on. All I'm gonna do is put that up through the bottom hole. See if I can reach around. Just put a, it's gonna flip 180. Oh, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So you wanna put a, here's the bolt for the uh, end link. Here is your washer and your uh, spacer go ahead and put it up through here and then we're going to put another one with the lip here where my thumb is facing down into this hole here we're going to put that down because that that meets up with that and then these sway bars came with this little plastic spacer here that we're going to try and finagle through 
Come on, work with me. There we go. All right, so then push that up a little bit. Push that up enough that we got enough room to put our, uh, our next spacer in. This one is gonna go up to the bottom of the sway bar, to the bottom of this hole. So you wanna make sure this collar is facing up when you do this. So we're gonna put him in just like that. Come on. Work with me, there we go. All right, and then it just came up through the sway bar. And then since this, since this hole's here, you wanna make sure this spacer faces down. Pry, pry down. Try not to pry out. But see if you can get it to, see if you can get the sway bar to move. I've got the other side started and loose enough that we should be able to get this on here. Push him far enough down and through. Come on, work with me here. Why are you not wanting to, why are you not working with me? We're flush there. All right. Now, I'm gonna take my little hammer here, tap up on that bolt, just to make sure that we're seated all the way into that hole, which we are. So then I'm gonna try and take the pry bar again. This is exactly how I did the other side. It worked first time, but you know, no camera. That's usually how it goes. As soon as I start the camera, nothing works. But we're gonna attempt it with the, how did I do this last time? got to get enough threads started through there that you can get so that you can get this little collar here it's got a nut on the end started on top of here once you get it started on top of here you should be good to go because then you can either use if you're using hand tools use your wrenches you know if you're using an impact like I'm going to because uh, the guy uh, the friend I'm working on this stuff for I ended up having an impact that he let me use so so that way you know I can make an impact on everything sorry it was a bad joke but all right so let me see if I can pry against something here uh, that was a pain to get started but I got it started here what I did um, I don't think the camera picked it up because I think it stopped recording on me but I, uh, all I did was put this on upside down, run it down enough that the sway bar pulled itself down far enough. And I just ran it on by hand, just, just turned it like this, you know, all, all the way down so I could get it far enough that uh, I could put, I could wedge my, uh, pry bar in here underneath the everything. And, uh, once I did that, uh, it was wedged, so I just took it back off, flipped it over, and put it back on. So all you do now is you just take your impact, which I have an impact here today with me. Um, it's actually the guy, the guys that uh, that owns the car. It's it's his. Uh, he's letting me use it. And uh, these ones here, these ones in particular, if you're on an 04 Chevrolet Venture, uh, if you get this kit, which I will get this kit uh, in the description and stuff. Um, but it, it's got a 13 millimeter head here and a 13 millimeter head here. You just tighten it up and uh, you should be good to go. Just like that, it's in. All it did was put a 13 millimeter uh, wrench on here and uh, the impact down here, just ran it up till everything's nice and flush. And there you go, it's in. I did the other side too and it wasn't too bad. So I will, uh, I'll link this kit in the description somehow if I can figure out how to do that or my editor can figure out how to do that.
problem. So, so far it's successful for the what, quarter mile we went. Yeah. So, well, on that note, thank you for responding for me. God bless and have a great day, guys.